Cruz is happy to report that we are experimenting with a raw diet. Now we haven't gone all in and gone completely raw yet, but we're adding raw components to his diet. And I tell you why, we haven't gone all raw yet because we're looking at the risks. There are some risks to a raw diet. <clears throat> you know, uh, bacterial contamination for the pet and for the pet owner, that's one. But my biggest concern is nutrition. There's going to be things in the nutrition that we're going to miss. Uh, because, you know, in the wild, of course, if you wanted to go back to the, the days of, of the wild wolves, they were eating the entire animal. And where's he going? What did he see? What is that rabbit? They were eating the entire animal. And, of course, that's not going to happen. So we've got to do our best. Mr. Al still here. That's good. He ate his mouth. So what we've done, we've begun incorporating some raw aspects into our diet. And what we figured out is that at Walmart we can get chicken gizzards pretty cheap. And they're good and he loves them. He thinks they're great. We can also get complete pork hawks. Now we also take some eggs and we crack it and we give him the shell and all. Buddy, that rabbit, he don't want to play with you. We got a rabbit outside here now too. So we give him the shell and all because the shell's good for him too. You gotta have some of that kind of protein in his diet. But we're still staying with a premium dog food and we're adding some raw aspects into his premium dog food because there are some nutrition things in that premium dog food that he just needs. And I know it's processed and dried and all that, but He's got to have it. Baby, come back. <laughs> <You're> stuck. <laughs> I stuck. Any kind of fool could see. If you try this raw diet, the thing I want to suggest is don't give him cooked bones. Don't give him any cooked bones. Slice your apples. Don't give him the seeds. Apples have a small amount of cyanide that can build up in his system. He don't, doesn't tolerate it as well as we do. Ease yourself into it. You don't want to cause digestion problems right away and just kind of basically flavoring his food with this raw stuff at first. An important but yet often overlooked aspect is keeping his bowl nice and clean. So I start with uh, a bowl of his dog food. Let me put a chicken gizzard or two in there. He loves him some chicken gizzards. Then some fresh eggs. Crack it. Shell and all in there. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? Wait. Okay. He loves it. It's good for him. It's healthy for him. We're making sure we get all of his nutrition in there. And uh, so I think this is a good compromise right now until we really get the hang of this raw diet and make sure we do it safe because uh, a mistake would just it just be too costly. We can't take a chance with our precious dog's health. We also add in some ground beef and some chuck uh, rump roast, uh, some raw meats, different kinds too. The FDA put out a warning recently about grain-free dog food of all things and how it may be harmful to your pet. And I'll try to put a link in the description for you guys to to go through it, but it's, it's a pretty interesting thing. The, all this time we thought grain-free dog food was the way to go, and now it may be hurting our, our loved ones. Dude, you're just so pretty. And that fall backdrop of those leaves and stuff, probably by the time they see this video, it's gonna have snow on the ground. We get a little bit ahead on our videos sometimes, and uh, I schedule them to upload later, and the reason is I don't wanna really overwhelm you guys with too much content 
and uh, lose viewers and you know I know how it is when you get spammed by that one person on Facebook or YouTube and so I try to spread it out to a two a week so we upload two videos a week You're a real dish. <coughs> After a careful 10 minute selection process and sneezing into her shirt, Miss Justice has finally selected her bread. <laughs> I'm stoked to meet you. Get back this too much. One pork hawk for the big boy. Right in the living room, and eat it. <laughs> like your pork hawk. The ultimate chew toy in it, buddy. Then you look like you've suffered a terrible accident. <laughs> you ain't letting go, are you? <laughs> What's the matter? You like it? You're, just, you're tired of eating, but you don't want to set it down? I don't know.